Hey, I must ask again, is reporting, recording, allowed in City Hall or not? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. I got a question for you, sir. What, what's your position with the city, if I might ask? It's 501. I'm not working right now, but I work <laughs> at the city clerk's office. Okay, thanks. Now, you're I welcome. have heard that the city clerk's office has, that, well, that you're supposed to check in with the city clerk's office before you can record in city hall. That's no what, idea what you're talking the mayor about. has essentially told me. Well, then you should speak to the mayor about that. I have. He, wouldn't, he won't talk. <laughs> thanks for answering my questions, though. Could I have your name? My name's Kevin. Okay, thanks. Mayor, I must ask again, is reporting, recording, allowed in City Hall or not, without sure permission? Yes. Oh, okay, well, thank you. That's a change in position, but that's one I appreciate. You take care. Mr. Arnold, can you answer a question or two? Real quick. Yeah, it is quick, and I can follow if you need sure. to. Sure. Um, are you familiar with my conflict with the mayor regarding the right to record in City Hall? Uh, if you give me a quick snapshot of it. Yeah, he basically told me that I should get permission before filming in the hallways. First Amendment rights override all of those things. Didn't even need to ask you the second question in that case. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So with regard to the mayor's comments that now apparently it is okay to film in City Hall without permission, uh, I could just walk right on in. But that would mean taking the tape of him saying that in with me. So being a tactical thinking person, I'll probably wait till I get home and the video is safely copied and on the internet before I go in. And I'm fairly happy with what I'm getting out here. The security guy even seems maybe a little bit more laid back. He is kind of avoiding me. He's not coming too close, but he doesn't really seem like he's trying to hide from the camera. You saw I took his picture there from a distance and he didn't try to hide from it at that time. So that's an improvement. I'll take improvements where I can get them. You know, all someone like that really needs to do is just introduce themselves to me. And I pretty much don't have much reason to, to, to keep filming them. I don't think I ever filmed the, uh, the, the that guy's predecessor who was just nice to me. Maybe I did once from a distance or something like that for some reason. I don't even remember why. There wasn't much reason to. Are you with the city? I am. Got a question for you. Oh, what's I'm your position? Upset. Thank you. What's your position? Can you tell me what your position with the city is? What's your name? <laughs> what do you do with somebody like that? Well, you keep asking them until they answer, I guess. That's not a huge crowd of politicians. Are you on the board? I don't recognize you. No, I'm not. Oh, okay, thanks. Are you uh, with City? Yes. Could I ask what position? Uh, Economic Development Director. Oh, okay, thanks. Where are you guys heading? Field trip. Oh, hi, Phil. So, you, why have you refused to tell me what your position is and your name? You work for the city, you supposedly work for me, the taxpayers at least. What kind of accountability is that? Hey, Phil, I've got another question for you. Sure. Um, you've been considered one of the more pro liberty you know, members of the Board of Aldermen. I like uh, liberty. Yeah. I like uh, freedom. What would you say is the, you know, ha have you really achieved that much being on the board? What's the, name it one achievement, one thing that would not have happened in the city of Manchester if you hadn't been on the board? The removal of the Second Amendment rights for the employees in the workplace violence policy. I think that's probably the uh, crux. You removed the it so that the city... No, the city wanted to pass an ordinance that removed city employees' right to bear arms oh. to protect themselves in case of workplace violence. You stopped it. And, um, yeah, I pulled it off the consent agenda, otherwise it would have been passed and brought to their attention that it was a violation of state law and federal law. Well, you know, as anti-government as I'm thought to be, I do support the rights of government workers to be able to defend themselves. So, well, I, just, yeah. I, I support the right of everyone to defend themselves. But the issue that yeah. you have here is you're creating a workplace policy 
that specifically takes away someone's right to defend themselves and making it completely um, uh, an easy opportunity for someone who wants to harm them because he knows that they're all unarmed. Yeah. So I mean, it's 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 yeah. sort of the six of one, half a dozen of another. If you if you want people to protect themselves, then you obviously have to afford them the ability to do that. And if you want to take that right away, then that was what they would have passed. And I posted it, and I won. Right. All right. Thanks, Bill. This edition of the Ridley Report was brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. If you were to go to the state house and do this. <laughs> then you would step on the toes of a Liberty Alliance member because they're all over the place at the State House. They are there fighting for your freedom and they need your help. Visit the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org and join them. Or maybe I should say join us because I am a member. nhliberty.org By the way, if you haven't moved to New Hampshire yet, this is just another glimpse of what you're missing.